situation. So certainly a welcome sight for Doc Rivers. KG offensive. Yep. Let's check in with Lisa Salters. Hey, Mike, well, I asked Doc Rivers how they got back in it in that first half. He, said, he joked with me and said, we all got into the yoga position of downward dog just so we could breathe and relax a little bit. He said, seriously, though, we just slowed the game down. We stopped turning the ball over. We stopped trying to do it individually and play together. I asked him what he said to his guys in the locker room about the importance of getting it done, ending this series here today. And he said, we didn't talk about that at all. It's about our play. If we play right, that'll take care of itself. We've got to focus on the process. Uh, Lisa, yoga talk here during the NBA playoffs. We'll have uh, a look into Pilates later on in the third quarter. And one of the ways the Celtics got back into the game was the Heat turned the ball over just like the Celtics did in quarter number two. Ray Allen and Paul Pierce both with three fouls. Neither played a heck of a lot. About 13 minutes each as Arroyo knocks down the shot. 13 minutes each in that first half for Boston. That's good patience by Dwayne Wade, not trying to do too much. At some point, he's going to need other guys to make shots. Well, start early on, get on the basketball, and Arroyo steps in rhythm. Wade had eight assists in game three. He's got four here this afternoon. Pierce. And Arroyo will bring it up. Allen stays on Wade, even with the three fouls. Richardson had that hot start. Had 13 points in the first quarter, didn't score in the second. O'Neal, can he get one to go? Still no. He did have a dunk. Well, his shooting rolls are just off the charts. So Richardson looking to post up now on Allen. Quick spin move, blocked by Perkins, and Garnett, his sixth rebound. Here comes Rondo, three on one. Pierce gets it and throws it down. That's good transition offense by the Celtics, but there's no way you only have one guy back in transition. Carlos Arroyo was left by himself to defend in transition. You've got to prevent those layups. Just over two minutes gone by here in the third. Wade gets the post, and Wade throws it down at the other end. Rondo finding the seams, count it, and a foul. Pretty play from Rondo, and he's in double figures with 11. This is actually a bad pass on the other end to Dwayne Wade, but give him credit. Chasing down the basketball, the ability to catch and finish. Then on the other end, Rondo, the little teardrop floater, the hit on the arm of Carlos Arroyo is certainly a foul. Arroyo now compounds that and picks up a technical foul. But I think it's a double technical with Arroyo and Rondo. Arroyo still arguing with Billy Kennedy. Quentin Richardson trying to keep him away. So they won't shoot any technical free throws on a double technical. Instead, Rondo will shoot one shot on the personal foul. Why don't you shoot the double technicals, but you do shoot the individual technicals? Interesting point. Now you're making sense. Every I agree. once in a while. It's... I agree. Why not let both guys shoot technical fouls? Now you're making sense. It's rubbing off. What's rubbing off? My, <laughs> my craziness to you or, or your sense of, like, smarts on me? <laughs> See, I was giving Mike credit. I wasn't saying really me. I was oh. saying Mike. Five-point game here early in the third. Arroyo lost his balance, got it to Beasley. Beasley likes switching to that right hand, but a poor attempt. Shot clock at one. They're not going to get it off in time. And a 24-second violation. See, if you're Beasley, you can't flip that thing up with your right hand. Sometimes you just have to go through the contact. You cannot slide around it. Right here, momentum. you got to go up and through Garnett right there and put the onus on the official to call it or just try to power it through. That flipping inside is not always going to get it done. And that's the second time he's tried one of those shots, both ineffective. Pierce nails it. And it just keeps saying, now he didn't play a lot because of foul trouble. He looks like he's really starting to get in that rhythm. Oh, you can tell when you look at him offensively, the things he's able to do, there's no answer for it. With his size and strength, ability to score in a variety of ways. Arroyo, a couple of field goals here in the third, and it's back to five. 
you know, Arroyo, and Mark can attest to this, he's a very good pick-and-roll player. He knows how to play pick-and-roll basketball. Garnett from outside. Kevin Garnett now 6 of 9 from the field. Not only when you talk about Arroyo, he, he also is a, a big-time competitor. He's a guy that's had success. I think sometimes you can lose your confidence and, and lose some of your, your swag or, or, or energy on the floor. Let's listen to Doc Rivers' halftime message to his team. You're trying to win a world championship when you're trying to win a game, a playoff game, it should not be easy, and you can't expect it to be easy. You've got to get your hands dirty, and you've got to go get it. You have to go get it, all right? Wade got hit as he goes to the basket. Shot won't go. He's a little shaken up. And, Mike, can we go back to the play that where the ball got deflected? Wade made a nice bounce pass to Beasley, and then Beasley, again, instead of going up strong, dished it to O'Neal, who then tried to kick it out on the perimeter. you got to have guys inside who are going to go up through people and either draw fouls or finish. It's hard enough to get the ball into the paint. If you don't get anything out of it time and time again, that's how they can push out on you more and more on the perimeter. Yeah, that was the problem the first couple of games, not getting into the paint. They had 30 points in the paint in the first half here in game four. As Wade will go to the free throw line. Arroyo and Rondo are still yapping at each other. And they're going to be careful. Second technical is an automatic ejection. Quentin Richardson pretty much telling Arroyo to shut up. Now, when I'm looking at both of these guys, I think he's also telling them, hey, you a bad dude. I've watched your work. Now, we've got to step up and make plays and take pressure off of number three. He can't be the only guy out here ready to attack and make plays. You just said that to Jeff last week. You're a bad dude. I'm not sure. Yeah, he was always pumping me up like that when I was coaching him. <laughs> High point, Miami lead. Ball poked away by Richardson. Richardson trying to post up. Wade on the drive. On the pull-up, tough shot, knocks it down. 22 for Wade. He's back up by seven. The only lead the Celtics have had was when they scored the first bucket of the game. They trailed by as many as 18. Garnett, not that time. Beasley trying to post up down the other end. O'Neal. Perkins call for the foul. He's upset. That's four on Perkins. It looked like he may have gone straight up on this one. He certainly feels that way. That's a bump. Yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. So O'Neal to the line. Remain O'Neal. Came into this game 5 of 31 from the field. He is just, I don't even imagine the kind of numbers, historic numbers in a playoff series. Even the Kangaroo Kid had a bad playoff series, and Eddie Conlon as well. But it has been a struggle to the point where he's not playing down the stretch. He didn't play at all in the fourth quarter of game three. Wow. Man, he's hearing some boos. That's not going to help him. And then he commits a foul down the other end on a reach in. So O'Neal picks up the personal. See, I, if I was a fan, I may boo lack of effort, but I wouldn't boo a guy missing a shot. He's not trying to miss shots. And you see the shooting numbers, just disastrous. O'Neal I don't agree. I don't agree with that. If a guy's not getting it done, if I go to a concert and the guy's not hitting notes, I'm booing. That's where we're different. Pierce, that's where you're different. <laughs> Wait, the rebound. If Bruce Springsteen is giving his best and born in the USA, I'm going to say, hey, Bruce, good job, bad night. Wade, back shot won't go. Garnett poked away, but it goes right to Perkins. Ray Allen fires away. That's good. 
And the Suffolk's continue their climb back. It's a four-point game again.